We're going to look at how to enter your outcome scores in your class. And I have a, a fake class here that we're going to look at. Once you're into your class, you will see a when when the time is right, this course outcomes assessment will show up. And I'm going to click on there's two links here. I've already clicked on them so they, they don't appear blue with an underline, but I'll click on the first one. This is where the CCOGs are located, and I am teaching Math 111, so I'm going to scroll down to Math. Now, just to uh, warn you, sometimes you actually have to scroll up to see your class. Uh, for example, Math 105 was hidden, I had to scroll up to see that. So I'm going to do Math 111. Your course learning outcomes are listed uh, near the top, right here. They are numbered, those numbers are important. You're typically going to have uh, two to six or so course outcomes. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom. There's a table here. Again, we have the course outcomes here on the left column. We also have program outcomes and I have program learning outcome one, another program learning outcome one, another program learning outcome one, and uh, program learning outcome GE2. So you probably want to write these down uh, so that you don't miss one. We also have an institutional learning outcome in the next table, ILO3. Um, and just to let you know, these course outcomes should be exactly the same as they are right above here. Uh, they're just matched up with different, instead of the program outcomes, they're matched up with institutional outcomes. Okay, I'm going to break this off and then move it over to the right so that I can look at my course on the left and the uh, outcomes on the right. All right, the second thing I'm going to click on is a rubric to rate these outcomes. And we look at that. It gives uh, ratings from four down to zero. Uh, four is the highest and zero is the lowest or no achievement. And you can scroll down. These are uh, by institutional learning outcomes, ILOs. So all of mine are in problem solving critical thinking. So these are how I can determine uh, what exactly qualifies a four versus a three versus a two, one or zero. All right, you need to turn editing mode on. Uh, my editing mode is already on, but I'll turn it off and turn it back on again. So I'm going to click turn editing on. Now my course outcomes assessment, don't click on this. You want to click on edit, edit settings. You don't need to uh, do anything <clears throat> except the outcomes here. So click on the outcomes. Now I have course outcome learning, uh, course learning outcome one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. If you accidentally add an extra one, you can't remove it later once you hit submit at the bottom. But if you did accidentally add an extra one, you would not rate students on the extra one. You would leave no uh, rating. You'll see that very soon. I have PLO1 and PLO... No, I don't have PLO2. I have PLOGE2. I also have ILO three. So those are all the outcomes that I have. They're all checked here. And I'm going to uh, save and return to course. Make sure you save. So I have all of my outcomes added. The next thing we're going to do is rate them. So to rate them, there's a few ways to do it. I'm going to click on grades to get to the grade book. Now this is the greater report here. You've probably seen this page several times. Uh, you do need to make sure editing is on or else you can't make changes. And I'm gonna scroll to the right. Here is my institutional learning outcome three, PLO GE2, PLO1, and what are those? Oh, they're right here on the right side. So you can see exactly what they are. And now you can go through and add zero through four scores for your students. I'm just picking random values. Hopefully that's not the way you're rating your students. 
Uh, but my students are fake and yours uh, should be real. And you don't need to add all of these at one time. If you just wanted to do one uh, at a time, that's totally fine. Either one student or one outcome. Make sure when you're done, uh, you're gonna hit submit. Now, earlier I mentioned if you added something extra, maybe my class I accidentally put in CLO4 and I should not have. You cannot remove it. However, you can leave it with no outcome rating right here. And you can, even if you've already typed in a score, you could unscore it by clicking no outcome. All right, when you're done, you hit save changes. And again, you can come back here as many times as you need to, to edit these. And if you want to reorder them, I'll show you how to do that quickly. I'm going to gradebook setup. And right here, to reorder them, you unfortunately you can't drag, but you can click. I want CLO1 to be at the top, so I click that. And I can either put it, I'll put it above all the other outcomes here. You could put it wherever you want in your class. CLO2, et cetera, et cetera. I could reorder all of them. You don't have to hit, um, it's already saved, but if you just want to be extra safe, you can hit save changes right there. Okay, good luck on your outcomes.